What's up everybody, Brick Sanchez here and I'm here today with my very first Lego Bricks and Pieces order. So as you can tell we got the official Lego bags here and uh, this was the first time that I've ordered something from Bricks and Pieces um, as I find it a very annoying and difficult website to work with or feature to work with. Uh, so as you guys might know you got the uh, pick a brick, pick a brick walls in the Lego stores as well as uh, on the Lego online store. But uh, there's also a feature where you go to um, um, support, then you can go to um, buy replacement bricks and that's where you get all of these specialized bricks that you find in all of the new sets. Uh, as you can tell we got some like this fish piece out here. Now the thing with it is, it is very difficult as you can only, uh, you have to scroll down the entire page of one set, you have to choose the set which you want to check out the parts for. Then you can scroll down, it takes a lot of time and then you have to add them all. You can also only add in 200 of each uh, part I believe and uh, if you hit backspace then you lose everything. So it's very annoying and I've already made like five or six orders that I completely lost just because uh, one, <laughs> one order got cancelled and as well as sometimes I just hit backspace and then I got back to the previous page. So very annoying. But either way, let's get it going. This also took about about three weeks or one month even to arrive here and uh, I think there was something wrong there's something wrong on my Lego uh, ID or whatever because it always wants to send the, the stuff to my previous address whenever I check out it first always assumes that uh, I'm still living on my previous address even though I changed it like a billion times already um, so yeah luckily the postman at my work knows my name and I used to live close to my work so he delivered this right to my work uh, so pretty awesome you might remember this from my mega haul as well. Now the only plus size, plus side I have for making this order is that Lego didn't uh, charge me for this. So I didn't get charged yet. It should be about 35 euros I believe. Or no, not even. I think it was like, uh, oh yeah, it might be even more. Alright, so I tried to find the price of everything in here. But uh, I can't because the order status actually says that this bricks and pieces order is cancelled. So... Uh, I'm not really sure what happened there, but either way, I will contact Lego. Uh, for now, first off, I will just pour this out. Yeah, I'm gonna just show you guys this bag already. I think these are probably 50 pieces of just uh, uh, reddish brown um, cylinder pieces here, cylinder bricks. So yeah, I'm gonna use this for some trees. And then I'm just gonna pour out everything from here, from in here. All right, that's that. Alright, now that everything's sorted out, let me show you what's in here. Um, so first off, let me see, we got some tiles out here. Some regular tiles for the sidewalks. Um, not sure how many. Uh, then for the rest, we got some of these yellow canopy pieces. Um, and I'm gonna try to remember why I bought everything here, because it's already like almost a month ago. But I think I bought this to add on to the aqua zone um, layout we have underwater. Uh, to add in like some more yellow stuff. And I thought these pieces looked pretty cool. Um, then moving on, we got two of these brown staircases. Just because they're always coming in handy. And for the Hogwarts area, I could probably use a lot of those. Then we got some of these round bricks, 2x2s. Two um, to make some trees with. So I just took a bunch of those as well. As well as this piece out here, also for, for a tree. This comes in a few sets, like the new um, Harry Potter Forbidden Forest uh, Umbridge Encounter or whatever. Something like that. Alright, moving on with the random stuff, we got two of these 10 circles out here. I think I bought these to make uh, towers for Hogwarts as well. Then we also got the inverted round openings here. This would be cool for a wooden floor with like a staircase going through it or something like that. Then we have some of these uh, ingot bricks in 10, also something for the Hogwarts area. Then I got some random light green bricks, I don't remember why. I do think these had a purpose. But I'm not sure for what anymore, so yeah. Then we got three of these garbage cans in green. I have a lot a lot of them in grey, but not a lot of them in green, so... Um, let's see, then we have some of these. Nexo Knight shield pieces here. In red, and I was gonna use these for uh, the Gryffindor common room, probably, in, uh, in Hogwarts as well. So yeah, then moving on. Got some of these pumpkin pieces. And uh, these are from... Uh, these are probably from one of those New Year sets. So I'm also gonna add these in the Asian part as well. Pretty awesome. Then I got this cool uh, <laughs> fork here. And this is a... Uh, this I just love this color. I like the piece as well. It's usually in brown I believe. And it came with that big guy that you can see out here. 
uh, that big man from the monkey monkey kit sets so pretty cool all right now we got some more small bricks out here one by one uh, light gray ones I needed some of those then we got some of the uh, quarter round bricks uh, tiles here in brown as well as we got some in pink as well so pretty cool just uh, small things I just added for a couple of cents then some other cool things are as you can see here it's pretty hard to tell these are like the dog the dog poo uh, pieces and these are in white as I want to use these I have a lot of them here they were pretty cheap I want to use these for like desserts and stuff and especially in the great hall of Hogwarts I want to make like a Halloween scene maybe uh, something like a, a guy I mentioned a lot before Mick Mac Pedwack on Instagram he has an awesome Hogwarts display and his great hall has various um, floors and you can slide in and out to so it's very awesome to change the setting so I would also love to change the setting I would love to have one Halloween setting and one um, what is it, the Yule Ball um, setting as well so with all of the snow snow stuff and things so that's why I want to have a lot of these snack pieces here to, to use them as like whipped cream or something then moving on we got these frog pieces here the white frog pieces and now I've just uh, I've just dropped one <laughs> and I've bought these uh, to use as like uh, architectural pieces uh, or uh, decoration for on buildings on white buildings and stuff uh, so yeah and then we have four of these red crabs here and I really like the red ones I have a lot of orange ones already and I just dropped it again <laughs> but uh, either way this crab is very awesome then uh, some more fish out here for the underwater area of course or just the uh, fishing store or whatever and then we got some of the cooler pieces one of the nicest pieces from this new uh, National Geographic line here we have this glow-in-the-dark angler fish which is very awesome I think it can hold something in his hand it has two anti studs on the back or actually three so you can use like uh, for a jumper tile or whatever also has an opening in his mouth but yeah about two of those for the underwater areas I think these will look very cool there very fitting oh so uh, yeah let me see two of these they look pretty awesome I have to check how uh, glow in the dark they actually are but uh, yeah then moving on once again I have this ID from Mick Mac Pedwick, awesome Harry Potter builder and this is from that new hidden side uh, castle there uh, we got this awesome like it looks like an apparition thing from Harry Potter or I don't know how it how it's how it's called but and then we got some awesome hair pieces so I got this hair piece from Hermione and I think the set I was looking at was actually um, the set with the centaur so Umbridge's I mean, I'm not sure Umbr Umbridge's encounter or something and I was looking at the parts you can uh, you can uh, choose there but from for license license teams it's only like this hair piece I could buy like that little um, tree stump I could buy but I was I was looking for the centaur pieces so I wanted to buy some more of those but they didn't have them so either way we got this Hermione piece we got it two times as I think it looks very nice very full head of hair <laughs> And then we have another one a pretty more uh, older version this one in black I'm not sure if I have one of these already so pretty cool just for some figure making now we also have this Aquaman hair here which looks very cool it looks like a wet wet hair so that's cool for a surfer dude or something on the beach very awesome and then we got some more specialized hair pieces as well so as you can see this one from the monkey king or kid series is very cool very special with that little hint of green in there looks like a like a gamer girl or something very cool then next up we have this awesome flaming hair so let me see as you can see very very cool I actually have the head for that as well I will try to assemble that later but yeah that was the that those were the hair pieces now we got two of these awesome uh, piggy faces I'm not sure what his name is actually so got two of those because I really like them I would love to put one of these hats on a, a police officer <laughs> in the city so very cool and we also have the torso for that so I'll be assembling that later all right now taking a look at the torsos we have two of these Tatuga um, torsos here I really like them the old school parrots the mermaids there that awesome ship in the back it's very very cool so I really like this now moving on we got two of the monkey king or monkey kid um, torsos as well this one is from the monkey kid itself but I just love this torso it's so cool the monkey in the back there cool prints on there the Asian uh, lettering and then we have this uh, this piggies <laughs> this piggies uh, work outfit 
as he is uh, like he sells noodles or something and we have this awesome noodle uh, printout here very cool so this might work for as a or actually this is not from the pig itself because the skin is yellow so I'm wondering this is probably from the monkey kid who works there but yeah either way it's pretty cool then we still got this from the Barracuda base set as well this uh what is it one-legged pirates uh, pirates legs with the wooden pack here or I don't know what it's called actually in English but uh, either way this is very cool I have a few of these but this is this looks like a pretty new part I'm not sure I have to compare it but uh, either way all right and last but not least we have the head pieces out here as you can see let me start from the bottom this is a headpiece I believe it's from one of the city sets as well as this this one up here I really liked it because it has some dirt on it on her face then we also have this uh, this woman uh, lady face here which is looking uh, I don't know how but I like the expression then we got this one from the captain from Barracuda Bay so probably the one with those where those legs come from uh, but yeah then we have the monkey kid out here and uh, he has a different face expression just his regular face expression then he turns into the monkey kid I believe I'm not sure and then we have three of those faces from the bad guy uh, <laughs> I wanted to buy two but I, I accidentally bought two of them uh, three of them because I really like that uh, sungla those sunglasses those are very cool and then his alternate expression is this one here also pretty cool so very nice let me see because he is the one with this hair so this is what he usually looks like looks like so like that very cool but yeah moving on then we have this scared face here this is from a hidden side set and I really like it because it's yeah, just a nice scared little face and then his regular face is just like a a geeky guy or whatever and then we have this awesome cool headpiece here the purple headpiece with uh, the ghost this is like the father of some of those uh, hidden side I don't know hidden side uh, the girl or the dude but yeah it's pretty cool I really like it could probably use it for something else as well just the purple uh, trans purple looks very cool and then finally we have this little uh, pineapple piece out here which is very cool as a fruit piece and all of these are usually I think 28 cents so that's a pretty fair price I really like it it doesn't depend on uh, which one it is so or uh, how collectible the figure is these are always the head pieces are always the same price so that is what I like about bricks and pieces but uh, either way all right guys that was the entire bricks and pieces order uh, let me know if you guys like this if you guys want to see more of these in the future I will probably order some more even though it's very annoying to order it but uh, try it out for yourself uh, I do think it might get uh, nerfed in a couple of months or a couple of years because I'm seeing that, that now it's a big trend on YouTube I see I'm seeing a lot of people doing uh, bricks and pieces orders so it might just become too much for Lego to handle as they have to hand order or hand pick all of these and then send them out and it already takes a lot of time so we'll see about that but I believe that they're gonna nerf it at some point we'll see about that so for everybody who hasn't done a bricks and pieces order I would suggest to do it right now uh, but either way that was it be sure to like subscribe and stay tuned for where I'm gonna put all of this stuff especially the underwater stuff is all going in there pretty quick so be sure to check that out in my next Lego City update which will be coming very soon as well alright guys thanks for watching and have a wonderful day